Okay, now we'll put all these members of the family together and write the name of their head, which is known as rational number. This is the family. Okay, so this family has all these members. You had whole number. Part of it also became natural numbers. What is the difference between whole number and natural number? Whole number also has got that zero. So natural number is the counting number starting from one. Whole number, if you add that zero also, then from zero up to infinity, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, is the world of whole number. So actually, natural number is actually also a part of whole number, isn't it? Whole number has one extra zero. That's all. Then you have integers. Integers again, you have negative numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, then you have one 0, then you have all the positive numbers which again become the natural numbers. So, they are all like one in terms of another. So, you have integers here, then you have a different family of fractions, but just now you have also seen that both fractions and decimals are actually the same thing, is not it? They are not different from each other. Sometimes we write them as decimal, sometimes we write them as fraction. If you are able to write as fraction, fine. If the fraction can be written as decimal, it is fine. Okay. The decimal are the special fractions with the denominators being 10, 100, 1000, the power of 10. Okay. That is 10 square, 10 cube and so on. So, they are the same thing. Whatever it is, all of them put together belong to this family known as rational number. So, when I say rational number, obviously there must be a way of representing them. It is written as p by q, any number can be written as a fraction. Now, you may say how I write all these things, we will come to that. Okay. So, this is the family of p by q, where p and q are integers, these are the condition, second condition, p and q are co-primes, we have already seen what are co-primes, two numbers who have the these are the two numbers p and q who have who are reduced to the smallest uh, level in the sense that their only common factor is 1. So, they should be co prime. The third one q should not be equal to 0. What happens when q becomes 0? The answer becomes infinity. Any number divided by 0 cannot be determined. So, q should not be equal to 0, but p can be 0. After all, 0 is an integer, is not it? So, we need not worry about that. The only condition extremely important for us to say that q should not be equal to 0, p and q should be co prime, p and q are also integers. Now, let us take any integer or any number from this and see whether we can write like this. Let us look at the now whole number 3. Can I write that as like this? Can I write 3 as 3 by 1? Nothing wrong in that. We know very well 3 is nothing but 3 by 1. P is 3, is it an integer? Yes. P and Q are co prime? Yes, 3 and 1 are co prime. Is Q equal to 0? No, Q is not equal to 0. So, 3 is nothing but. So, 3 by 1 becomes in the form of P by Q satisfying all these 3 conditions, is not it? So, 3 by 1 is a rational number which is nothing but 3. So, all whole number can we write it as rational number? or we call them as rational number? Yes. What about the 0? We have forgotten that. 0 is a whole number. Can I write 0 like this? Yes, 0 is nothing but 0 by 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. So, no problem in that. Is it an integer? Yes. Is this an integer? Yes. Are they co prime? Yes. Is the denominator not equal to 0? Yes. Q denominator is not 0. So, 0 is also a rational number. We may just write 0 as 0, but 0 by 1 is fine, is not it? So, going by this logic, all natural numbers, since 3 was a natural number, we could write as 3 by 1. Instead of this, if 3 had it been say 456, I can write that as 456 by 1, which satisfies this all the 3 condition. So, all whole number, all natural numbers are all rational numbers with the denominator 1, because we need a denominator, we have put that as 1. Okay. Now, let us go to the integers. So, if I go to integers, any integer again minus 5, can it be written as p by q? Yes, same logic, p put 1 there. This is an integer, p and q are integers, 1 is an integer, no problem. p and q are co primed, yes, their common factor is 1. Is q equal to 0? No, q is not equal to 0, it is 1. So, all integers are also rational numbers. So, already these three small, you know subset or belong to rational number. That is all the three are basically known as rational number. Now, let us go to fractions. Any fraction, let us go for any fraction. 4 by 5. 
what is this this 4 is a, an integer phi is an integer are they coprime yes 4 and 5 are coprime q is not equal to 0 q is not equal to 0. So, if I have a fraction like this if I write another fraction say 8 by 10 it does follow 2 of the condition which condition is not followed this is an integer this is an integer I have no problem in that the first condition is fine q is not equal to 0 that condition is also satisfied, but are they coprime is 8 and 10 are they coprime they should have only 1 as the common factor, but here they have another factor as 2. So, 8 by 10 per se is not a rational number, but we can make it a rational number I divide by 2 I make it as 4 divide by 2 I make it as 5 now they have become a rational number. So, rational numbers are in the form of p by q. So, that the p and q are at the lowest level that is they have the only common factor being 1 now they both have only 1 as the common factor hence they are called coprime. So, any fraction can be written like this even a negative fraction you have minus say uh, 6 by 7 this is fine 6 is an integer minus 6 is an integer 7 is an integer denominator is not equal to 0 it is a fraction they are coprime good. So, this is also a rational number anything else decimal yes 0 0.5 just now we came to know that that is nothing but 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 5 by 10 per se is not a rational number why it is not a rational number 5 by 10 they are integers no there is nothing wrong in that the denominator is not 0 then why we still do not call it a rational number because they do are not co prime they are still divisible by 2. So, we have reduced that to 1 by 2. So, we have made 5 by 10 equal to 1 by 2 and then call it as a rational number. So, please always see the moment you look at a fraction it has to be at the lowest term every fraction can be reduced it is not a problem at all ok every fraction can be reduced to a lowest level by which the only thing that is common between them the only factor that is common between them is 1. So, that satisfies the second condition also. So, we will continuously look at the rational number as p by q one of them can be negative both of them can be negative both of them can be positive does not make any difference they should be co prime the denominator should not be 0. So, whenever you see this family of numbers which is written as p by q looking like this they all belong to the single family of rational numbers and rational numbers since all of them have some rules and regulations some laws they follow rational number also will follow the same laws because after all it is the head of the family if they are all following some law that law will should be followed by the rational number also. So, all rational numbers follow the same laws as being followed by whole number natural numbers fraction integers and decimal. So, what are the standard laws commutative law followed by all rational number a plus b is always equal to b plus a both of them are rational numbers. So, you have minus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4 plus minus 1 by 2. How do you do this by the way same way find the LCM how do you add two fractions you find LCM 4 then this is 2 times so minus 2 plus 3. So, denominator is 4 no problem now the numerators are what are they they are integers you follow the rules of integer addition this becomes 1 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 plus 1 or you can just write as 1. So, answer is 1 by 4. So, either I do this way or put this first and do that does not make any difference. So, addition of rational numbers follow the commutative law same holds good for associative law you have a plus b plus c is also equal to a plus b plus c this is also equal to a plus c plus b. So, you can add any two numbers first if you have a list of 10 rational numbers take any two number to add of your choice then you add two other two other addition does not make any difference. If you want to add 10 numbers you can take any two two three three numbers and keep on adding them the final answer is going to be same does not make any difference by changing the order. But as far as the subtraction is concerned a minus b is not equal to b minus a in any case subtraction involves only two numbers addition you can add many numbers you cannot say I can subtract many numbers one number can be subtracted by only one number is not it. So, a minus b is not equal to b minus a. So, same a b b a they are all now rational numbers you can write them as a whole number you can write them as a fraction as a decimal does not make any difference they all come under the same family of p by q take care that p by q is at the lowest level the moment you write a number as say 7 by 14 minus say 5 by 10 instead of doing like this 
they are still they are fractions but they don't look like rational numbers because they are not at the lowest level we can reduce this so 7 by 14 is 1 by 2 5 by 10 is also 1 by 2 gives the answer of 0 0 is again a rational number so the world of rational number when you add them they give you a rational number when you subtract them they will give you a rational number so answer is also a rational number when you add them subtract them multiply them only when you divide them they may not give you rational number 0 by 5 0 divided by 5 is 0 this is an integer this is an integer 0 by 5 is a rational number the answer is 0 is 5 by 0 0 so the opposite does not hold good so a rational number divided by rational number need not always give you the answer as rational number okay so that is one thing apart from that addition multiplication division they are all closed that is what is known as a closure property that is the answer is lies within the family only the answer does not go outside the family obviously then you must think of a family outside it when i say the answer is not outside then you may be wondering then where is another number which is not rational can i think of any number which is not rational now about this you will learn in higher classes but i'll just give you a small hint in here Every number you are thinking as p by q, I can write p divided by q. If I write as 2 by 3, what do I get actually? 0 0.666, just now we saw that, we wrote it as 0 0.6 bar. What was that? I told you that 6 goes on repeating. Also there was another number after 5 digits, it went on repeating. After 6 digits, it again started repeating. Perhaps you may have some numbers which does not repeat at all. Is it possible to have such fractions? When you start dividing, there is no repetition there. It is quite possible. The, those numbers are not rational numbers. They are known as irrational numbers. That is a different family. Those numbers can never be written as a fraction like this. Every decimal can be written as a fraction like this. You will again learn like this. How to write 0 0.6 bar? I know 2 by 3 is 0 0.6 bar. But how do I know that 0 0.6 bar is 2 by 3? How am I to know? There is a way of writing it, this way of finding it. We will learn that later. So, this is a rational number, this is the rational number because I was able to write. But there are numbers when they are written in decimal, you are not able to write them like this. A number like 0.66, this number was 0 0.66, this also went on repeating. But I was able to write that as 2 by 3. But if I want to write this number as a lovely fraction, as p by q, I won't be able to write at all. What is the difference between the two numbers? In what way they are different? Look at another number. Or maybe I can write like this: 582, 582, 582, 582, which is nothing but 582 bar. Correct? 582 is getting repeated. What about this? Do you think there is any repetition here? They look as if something is getting repeated, but there is no repetition. It is not 10, 10, 10, 10. It is not 100, 100, 100, 100. It is not 1000, 1000. It is like 10 followed by 100 and then 1000, then 10,000 and so on. There is no repetition. At the same time, it is also not going to stop. A number like this can never be written as P by Q. And P by Q is what we want to be called as rational number. So, obviously, these numbers are known as irrational numbers. They can be written in decimals in a very funny manner without any change, without any uh, complication. They look very nice when you write as a decimal, but when you want to convert into fraction as p by q, you are not able to get. They are known as irrational numbers. So that is a different family. So rational number is family is what we are now dealing with. Irrational number just gave you an idea. These are some of the very standard irrational numbers you will learn later. What is known as, what is root 4 by the way? Square root of 4, 2. What does that mean? 2 into 2 is equal to 4. What is root 9? Root 9 is 3. That is 3 into 3 is 9. Isn't it? But what is root 2? What multiplied by what gives you root 2? That those two numbers you cannot write them so easily the way we have written here 2 3 and all that we will not be able to write these numbers so root of 2 root of 3 root of 5 they are all what is known as irrational number again when you write them as fraction what is this this can be written as 3 by 1 this can be written as 2 by 1 so they are what they are rational numbers isn't it but when you write this you won't be able to write as 
rational numbers. So, similarly the very nice number which you use in geometry pi is basically a rational number, but we do not we would not be able to use that value of pi as irrational number which can be used for calculation for your area for your volume and things like that. So, we take the standard value as 22 by 7 which is a rational number can you see that this is an integer this is an integer this they are co primes this is not equal to 0. So, this is what we use it, but the real value of pi when it has been calculated we find that it gives a fraction 3.14 followed by something in such a way that it neither stops we do not mind if it does not stop the problem is it also does not give any pattern there is no repetition after 3 digit after 4 digit after 5 after 6 after 10 after 100 digits also even if it is going to repeat we do not mind it, but it is never going to repeat there is no proper pattern you think of the number it will be there. Okay. So, all there is no proper pattern of the repetition there is no repetition here that is why it becomes an irrational number about which you will of course, you learn in the higher classes this is just to give you an idea that there is a family that exists beyond the rational number which is irrational number. So, we will of course, confine ourselves only to rational numbers add them subtract them multiply them divide them and just play with them that is all. So, rational numbers are very simple to deal with they are always you know, part of the whole number and uh, natural numbers and fractions and decimals. So, if you are comfortable with them you are comfortable with the rational number. So, with this we come to a, a conclusion that finally, the rational number the world of p by q where p and q are integers q is not equal to 0 and p and q are co prime. So, these are the numbers we will deal with we will add them we will subtract them you can just play with them.